What are you looking for, your glasses? No, something just came up, a red little thing in the corner. Re oh, it says recording. Yeah, so yeah, that just lets you know I'm recording it, which is a component of this. We'll be recording. This is really good, isn't it? It's exciting, isn't it? I like your background. You haven't got all those books that people have. Uh, you, I don't have those books that people have. You know that people put all the books to impress. Yeah, so Here, I can ha I'll hold some up. Yeah, I never listen to what they're saying. I'm trying to read what they read. I thought of doing a sketch where I would do that and in the background on the bookshelf, it would just be how to suck your own penis. And then the person would be like, excuse me, what's that book? And be like, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> that was a sketch I was thinking of writing. Um, better. So, okay, so this is what we're doing. You and I are now doing a thing where we're gonna kind of catch up with you. We'll get little uh, insights into your world. I have some questions. You have some pictures. Oh, so you're in, into my world. That's a bit. Yeah. That would be a bit sad. <laughs> well, no, I think it's funny. I th I like I like the way your life is, uh, where you are, and um, okay. So let's let's just start with this. How have you been handling the? Because we're I think we're going to call this tales from the pandemic. Okay. All so right. how are you handling the COVID situation? What's it like in the UK? Um, well, I think I'm I'm handling it pretty well because I'm on my own, yes. and so um, and so I just just really do my own thing. But I wear a mask and I gave you the mask. You sent me some masks. So actually, yours are really nice. It's really funny because I've got I've got one in my little walking backpack thing and one in my handbag. And, the, and I've washed them both. And the one I've lost half of the, you know, the nose things on each side. Okay. And the one I've, I've only got half the nose thing. Well, let's just talk about what makes a mask effective for a second. Maybe that's a good thing to talk about. The nose okay. things, are first of all, why are you washing them like that? Well, because you're breathing into them, aren't you? And probably, um, and they're washable. What do you think is, what do you think is a better, are you putting them in the dryer? No, no, no. They dry quickly. They're little spongy things. They're lovely. So they've lost they're... little like pieces here. One, one of them has lost the okay, breathing so things. Here's on what them. I need you to do. Stop wearing that one. That one Why? has been rendered ineffective by your methods of cleaning it. What, what, what makes you think that wearing a mask with a hole in it is good? Would you take a boat out with a hole in it? It hasn't got a hole in it. But it's missing a piece. No, because when you actually take the pieces off. Do you want me to show it you? Yes. There's, there's, yeah, oh, bring, maybe bring, the, us, bring us the mask. Wait a minute, but wait a minute. I'm trying to think now, does it have, no, it doesn't have a hole. No, it doesn't. Wait a minute. Right, I'll let's, show see, you. let's see this. Where is it? It's just here. Okay. It's my, oh, wait a minute. It's the one in my handbag, I think. I just, this, this, this is sort of my best one. This is my one for going out I for best. I fear for what I'm about to see. Yeah, no, wait a minute. I'll show you. Look, you see. See what happened was I washed it. <laughs> and it was ever so funny the other day. I went somewhere and, and this bloke served me and he'd got one with one side. And I said, between us, we've got our whole mask. He didn't have any sense of humor. Oh, so yeah, so it's missing a, that on the other side? Yes, but you see, it doesn't have a hole. So I'm not doing anything illegal. Well, it's not about legality. No, but <laughs> I think it's really I'm funny. gonna have to send you more fucking masks. No, yes. no, because no, we can get them here now just the same. There's yes, absolutely. We'll be wearing your in effect. Okay, so I'll send you some more masks. It's the thing, it's not about, really what, nice. it's not a cardigan. It's not supposed to smell great. It's supposed to be effective. You don't need to wash, just leave your mask. Your sister and you with a light load of activities due to the pandemic, you've taken back to your hobby slash job of uh, cleaning houses, right? Not much, we, Not much. we only do, we only do a couple of people. We'll go to places and you'll clean houses and stuff like that. And can I, can I ask a question or two about that? Yes, of course. When you're in these houses and you're cleaning, you do a great job. Will you yes. ever, let's say you see a chocolate sitting on the counter. <laughs> Will you ever eat the chocolate? Well, we would if if there were a few. If there were a few, you'd sneak a chocolate. We we what we do is we analyze what the situation would be if we could perhaps take a chocolate and the person 
Will, the, will, will they notice or will they notice? Right. Well, will we, yeah, that's exactly it. Yes. Will they notice? Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and. Yeah. So if we um, hire you for cleaning services, you'll clean our counters, you'll clean our floors and you'll clean our chocolates out. <laughs> no, no, we'd work out whether you would miss one. And, and we always say, we always agree with one another. This is quite funny. They wouldn't mind anyway. We always say that. They wouldn't mind anyway. They'd say, have, have a chocolate. So you just kind of invent the voice of a uh, homeowner. Have a bit of that cake. Yeah, right. Okay, cake. Right. So it does. What about alcohol? Will you ever, if there's a little bit of alcohol out, would you ever like have a sip of port or some wine maybe? We have actually, yes, had yeah. um, a little taste sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Example. Yeah. Yeah, just a little, just a little taste to see, to see what it's like and to see. Well, to be fair, what you, nice wine exists. You need to, to wash something. The chocolate. You need to wash the chocolate down with something. Well, yes, it's. it's and it's you have a, rich tastes. It's little a wine. It's a little wine break instead of a tea break. And what's great about it's your, rare though. That what's great that. about your mask is that if you're wearing the mask, you actually have a eat hole in your mask where you can pour a little bit of wine and you can shove chocolate in through your mask without. Almost like a second mouth, really. It is really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's been interesting. I've enjoyed that. Um, and, uh, and I know what you're building up to. I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. We'll save that for another time. We'll we'll come back to that at another time. I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there with baby steps. Yes, now, but what you don't realize is it, it's it's a certain time of year at the moment when something is available. All right. Well, let's get into it now. So, so. What you're alluding to is that uh, there are times when you will pass a farmer's plot and you'll see some food that the farmer's growing. At this particular moment, it's well, let's, potato. Let's, just, let's, let's go back because for a while it was asparagus. Yes, it was asparagus. Yes, yes. And you and your sister would sneak in through a fence? No, there wasn't even a fence on this on this one. So there were two fields and you could just walk in and help yourself. Oh, it was a very Robert Frost pasture, really. Just two <laughs> two farms diverged. Mm. And you yeah, okay. two, two fields and and we we were we 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 took evenly from both so that we what didn't was one? One was asparagus, what was the other one? No, they were both asparagus. Oh, okay. very you guys would just take handfuls of asparagus. No, no, we'd actually pick it. We pick our own. We, 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 we took bags with this event. And you would fill your bags with a spare. We'd with fill the bags. Congratulations. That's great. We shared, though, with anybody that was interested. I don't think your Robin Hood attitude is going to come into play here. Who was interested? Who else? Who, <laughs> let me ask you this honestly. Besides your sister, who did you give asparagus to? Well, we actually gave, we gave some to one of our clients. Oh, probably to pay them back for all the chocolate and wine that you'd have. <laughs> no, no, we never took any wine or chocolates from them at all. Oh. No, no, no. That was it. And that, then now, I, now I think about it, that was sort of an uneven, an, 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 an uneven relationship. Well, but you no, it wasn't because you'd stolen it. No, we didn't from them. No, but you had. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make it uneven oh. when you're giving them <laughs> contraband. Well, we hadn't stolen it really because. What would you? Um, what would you classify it? Um, uh, probably stealing. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, and then, so now it's potato time. Yes, yes, it's I'm exciting. very excited by the potatoes. Mm -hmm. I know. I, well, I got some for Hillary and Nigel the other day. I My chips I had Did last night. Do you understand my... how on brand it is that you're in England stealing potatoes for chips? I mean, this is what the stereotype would be of the English from any other country. Yes, it would. It would. It's very true. Yes, because they're known for taking the little packets of tomato ketchup, aren't they, and stuff like that. Who? I remember when my father wait, wait, who, arrived. Who, who's known for taking the packets of tomato? The British are. We're known for. Are, people get charged for them there. Yeah, they. that's why. That's Yeah, but when they go to other countries, they take them. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, what were you going to yeah. say? But my dad, one year when he, when he arrived from England, he, he'd arrived with everything, you know, like the little bits of cutlery and the, the napkins. And then one year he arrived and he was thrilled because he'd taken the little, he'd taken the little plastic headphones that used to get in those days that were absolutely useless. 
<laughs> but he thought... was it was back then was it still the one with the weird cord yeah with the weird cord and the little like plastic yeah things that like the, a stethoscope the, basically but but yeah, the, cord, yeah, the cord was exactly. not applicable to any yes. other situation that's which right. I never no, understood no. when because because on the planes <laughs> they used they still do it to some extent but they would have the like two pronged thing and it was like almost like earplugs and you and then you take yeah. it off the plane and you'd be like well there's no use for this in my work unless I'm on another plane where they'll give me more for free exactly well he was absolutely delighted that he'd arrived in America and he managed to you know like sneak these in things into his hand luggage and I said dad they're not of use for anything and he was horrified that I wasn't really thrilled didn't understand the yes but what he what he didn't understand was that he was imprinting upon you uh this life he was he was cultivating yes uh, like a farmer would yes a person like himself in in years um so anyway so anyway but um so I've had a few potatoes, just a few. I took Hillary and Nigel some yesterday. Okay. Um, and and anyway, I noticed today, because I walked along along the same field today, what I've noticed is that where the farmer's ploughed up, he's missed a whole section. You know, they gone, I think they gone this like conveyor belt thing, and he must oh. have missed this whole section, and they're all there. So anyway, right. so he's probably probably left those for you in a way right about how someone would leave out mince pies and some rum for santa he sort of thought you know i'll just do this row of potatoes for we should call you pam <laughs> that's a good name um okay well that's that's good for now i think there's there's mm-hmm. more to discuss on all this uh at some point but i just want to have a little catch up now uh we're both a little sniffly but we wanted to do this obviously now yes it's an emotional time. Now, um, you have some pictures? Yes, I did. I've I got like some lovely pictures. That, that, what I just saw was a bountiful stack. So but, we're not going to cover all those today. Now, let me I ask just, you, are these your pictures or have you stolen them from other families? No, no, these have come from the family suitcase. From, from the, from, they start when dad was probably very little, like three or four, in fact, in fact, he, there's a pictures of him. You've seen them stealing the strawberries. Oh, out of my grandfather. It's imprinting and genetic. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you? Why don't we show maybe five or six pictures for this session? I've got. I've got. Through. I've got one or two of you that I thought people might like to see. Well, you um, can wait. start in whatever order you like. What I just okay. saw a glimpse of was insane. Okay. All right. That's good. Now, is that that is me? Is that me? That's that's you. Yes. In in. Good Lord. In the in the light blue. Yes. Well, yeah. We all know I like a tracksuit. And what is the point of putting a child who can't walk in a tracksuit? <laughs> it's just purely fashion. It's not. <laughs> it. Ma- I think it matched right. your eye. Put it down. You can put it down. That one. Look, okay. And that, and and what year do you think that was from? Um, I would say I would say that you were probably about one. So that would be like nineteen eighty, probably. Okay. Seventeen. 17- 80 something like is that a car is that a car seat you're in uh it probably you... looks like you guys just threw me in a car seat and left me on the ground in a track suit to figure out my existence hoping no, the EMC would one day pick me up and make something of me i don't think so that in those days where, you, where is that? On that holiday nobody could get over that you would eat a dish of salad what, what holiday was that wait 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 before you now put that picture down wait what were you saying what did you just say nobody the... could get over what you was you were a really really big eater, and you would you would even eat a dish of salad. Oh, I thought you said sand. I would eat. No, even... oh no, you ate sand. I did. I was just going to say because my one of my first memories is I had this kitty cup, and I remember being at the beach, and I remember putting sand in the kitty cup and putting my straw in it, and seeing you over there go no no and run after me as I would. <laughs> and just stuck down all this sand. And then I remember being like, oh. Just- no, another, well, no, I have a, there's a photograph of you somewhere with a spoon. You're sitting, eating it like it's a meal. Well, you the picture, thought I was a, a the, terrible cook. The picture, yeah, well, I, you probably stole the sand from someone else. Uh, the, the picture that's always eluded us that we can never find is the one where I'm in a fireplace eating coal and I've coal eating all over my face. And I'd eaten multiple yes. pieces of coal, and you all were pissing yourselves laughing, taking pictures of me while I poisoned myself. You were, you were, you were in in Nan and Grandpa's um, uh, 
a dining room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, to eating. be fair, what, what else is one supposed to do in a dining room? <laughs> I was dining. I was having a lump of coal. You know, a lot of Christmas for a lot of kids leaves coal and they're disappointed. To me, mm. I say, he gives you lemons, drink the coal. Yeah, eat the coal. It's the best. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, here's another one of you. I thought people might like to see that one. I right, pull that back a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That That's is, any good. That's good. Yeah. All right. You can drop it down because I think we'll put. We'll probably have. We'll probably put those in frame so we can talk over them too. Um, okay. What is happening in that one? That picture that you just showed. No, 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 Mum. We're oh, oh. Um, that one. That one. I think you're. Um, you're with Hillary and Nigel. I think it was one of the trips you did to England on your own. I don't know. Is that France or is that England? Could be France, could be England. Now, in the picture, I can see that I'm wearing some shorts and then under it, I'm wearing bike shorts. So a mm -hmm. look where I thought it was pretty cool to have a yeah. regular pair of shorts and then have hot pink bike shorts. So I was watching. Yeah. I remember that look appealed to me because I had very, I was, a, I was a chubby kid and I had very big legs, <laughs> right? You can see how big my legs are in this picture, right? I don't think they are. I think they're rather nice. No, no, no. And, uh, and for some reason, I thought the bike shorts uh, helped the look. I don't know what my problem was, but I thought that helped the look. <laughs> I think it's lovely. I think it's funny because Ross has got, because usually you two used to dress pretty um, yeah. Much the same, and he's got jeans on. Well, he looks like he's taxi driver, and I look yeah. like baby Agassiz. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, and this is next one. I've got quite a few. They don't but, have to um, all be of me, but I can tell this next one is that one is of me. That's of. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that picture is of me and your mother, my grandmother, and I'm wearing a yes. wig like hers. All right, you can put it down now. Okay. All right. And then I thought this this would be a okay, good follow up. Okay. Now, w do you remember where that one was taken? Just because you're not holding it up, it's going to be good for us to talk about it because, like I said, we'll put the picture over. So I'd rather okay. see your um, face talking about the picture. I think that that possibly, because Mum's got, I think that's possibly Cedarburg Road. And I think did you, Mum... Did you... Well, go on. Well, I think... Mum is sitting in a deck chair, and I think it's dark. Okay, you, so far your Matlock analysis of this picture is great. Yeah, but well, and it must be very cold because you got you both got fur coats on. That one I think you got from Goodwill. No, that, that one was not from Goodwill. Although I, oh. I did buy. Would you say how many? I mean, you would say I bought ninety-five percent of my clothes from Goodwill. Uh, you bought a lot of things from Goodwill. Okay, yeah, Goodwill. You can put it down. Mm. It's all right. I um, remember where that, that came from. Where did the jacket come from? Was that from Nick and Tracia's house? Yes. No, my brother and his wife moved into a house and they found this a bunch of stuff in a closet. But one of the things was this pimp coat and it became my jacket for everything. I wore it in the cold of Wisconsin winters. And, <laughs> and then was it weird because I put on a lot. I, I, I even look back at myself and I think I was insane because... I would wear the weirdest clothes. I would dress uh, not even flamboyantly, but like I would wear things that were just, I just dressed crazy. Like if we went places, I looked crazy and people would be like, this guy's crazy. Like, remember the one time I wore a clown outfit all day? Yes. I, and Nick and I went yeah. and got drunk at the bar. But even before that, like for, for all of my outfits, it was pretty much Goodwill. I wore platform shoes. I wore bell bottoms. I wore velvet sunglasses. Do, do we... you remember I had, um, you know, we used to have quite a few parties and things. And do you remember I had that one party and everybody, we were all sitting in, in the, the blue room and you came down in a waitress outfit. I do not and, remember this. And, and I didn't bat an eyelid. I never thought anything about it. And everybody that knew you never batted an eyelid. No. And then, and then everybody was like, after would sort of like, and you sat down and you were normal, you were chatting away and Natalie and I were normal and everybody else was like, well, you know. I, um, among the strange things I did was I would wear dresses. I would wear, I, yes. would, on prom, I would buy a prom dress, I would wear that. I would wear your dresses every now and then. Um, 
yeah, I just dressed crazily. I just did it for <laughs> kind of shock value. And like you're saying, eventually people got numb to it. It was just, it's very, it's not normal. But then when, when new people came to the house, they, they just couldn't get over it. No, they, I never really treated it they, like that. And do you remember that you bought a blue satin dress? I think that was one of your favorites from Goodwill. Uh -huh. I think you and you and Caleb, Caleb Rosina. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think that was dresses together. Yes, we brought prom dresses. Yes, I wore that dress a lot in college too. Um, yeah, but it was, it was. Did that ever strike you as? Were you ever in any way like this? Kid's really weird. Not not the dresses thing necessarily. Just as much as just the constant like odd outfits and you know really really bizarre style was there any part of you that ever thought this is weird or no no, no I just, like, it was just you yeah it was, it just, was just you which is no, very supportive and very very sweet pardon it's very supportive and sweet I think that it is you know I, I, oh. I just thought I, I, I just thought it was hilarious I, I really did but All right, the way but in particular do you want another oh, one and by not? the way they weren't complaining when I dropped their drink orders off later and some jalapeno <laughs> pop so they really <laughs> shut the fuck up after that uh all right yeah, let's do another picture did you get a good tip <laughs> I think I tucked my tip oh, good <laughs> lord oh my lord look okay well there's a couple okay you can put that one down so that one's very funny because it almost look, looks like Nan works at Fleet Farm like with her like little like yellow shirt that should have a name tag. And then I look like, I, I look like I am, I haven't had a good meal in a long time. And that's when I bleached my hair blonde. Yes, but mom, she's got on a t-shirt. I think I'd gone, I don't know whether I'd gone to the meeting while she was there, but I used to work for um, a horse company called Briar Horses. And, she, and I remember the t-shirt was huge on me and she loved it. And that's what she's wearing. One of my t-shirts. It might have been for a horse. <laughs> might have been part of shirt horses. Now, let me ask you this. You always put your glasses on your head. Do you yes. ever forget where your glasses are and then realize yes. they're on your head? Constantly. How percentage wise, what percentage of the time would you say you're looking for your glasses that are on your head? Um, not so much lately. But, but. Um, Past year, would you say 60%? No, no. 50? No, no. 30? 20. 20. 20. Okay. I'm, always, I'm always losing them, but everybody loses their glasses. I mean, I think, I think your loss of glasses is special. Well, there was a time when you would get glasses that weren't your prescription. You would just put glasses on in like Walgreens and then go, that helps a little. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's when you sort of first, and then when you first start to wear glasses, because I think you're, you're not too sure, but you can get reading good reading glasses now. Yes, I mean, or you can go to an optometrist. Do they have? Yes, there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, we've got really quite modern here. Oh, really? Yeah, there's one or two. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hard yeah. to find, probably. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do another picture then. Okay, wait a minute. Um, let me see if I can find something that might be a little different. Oh, this yeah. is a nice. It doesn't have to have me in it. It can be anything. <laughs> Something of you. Well, this is this is you and your brother. Well, let's let's do one of. All right, we'll do that one, and then let's let's end on a one or two of you. Okay. Oh, so and then there's another picture of you in the coat at, at a different occasion. Wait a minute, here, look. Okay. We're there. going fast. There. But, Mom, wait a minute. You, uh, and we should point out to people that your catchphrase is "Wait a minute." Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's and oh, look, Nick's Nick's in the other Winston coat. Oh, he is. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you, can, you can lower your arm up. You don't need your arm. Yes. I, don't your hand I put a Mac on. Yeah. No, you can um, lower the other arm. Okay. Oh, here we are. This is a good one. If you, oh, no, he's no, no, sweet. Let's, let's, let's do one. Let's wait. Wait. Let's because we're oh, going to do more of these. Hold on. Mom, wait, 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 wait. Let's take a okay. Let, right. Let's find some that are either of you or that are of your parents or that because we've got a bunch of me. Yeah. Okay. Right. Wait. Let's find one or two maybe to end on that. That has there. Well, there's loads of of um, of mum and dad. But wait a minute. I mean, there was a really funny one I found. I wanted to. Um, oh, you've got to, you've got to have that one in it. Oh, Look. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So this and this is during my bucket phase when I would only be bathed in buckets. <laughs> I wanted buckets near me, extra buckets. 
<laughs> That's what my, you named me buckets when I was growing up. All right, you can put it down, Pammy. That's before we now, had a pool. Now remember to put those in a pile because I'm going to need you to send pictures of those. Afterwards. I will. Okay. I will. I will. Don't worry. I'll have them. Wait a minute. And um, then what, what was the philosophy on just hold on? Wait, mom, mom, mom. Mm -hmm. Put them yeah. down. Let's talk about okay. that last one because that's what we're doing. Okay. So, okay. so what? Why? Why always? Why was I always in this sort of like dishwashing bin? In the <laughs> I don't know. I think I think you liked going in there, and we probably didn't have we didn't have a swimming pool, and we didn't probably didn't have a slip and slide or. Right. Um, uh, and I, I think so the children I think, who didn't get the slip and slide just got the dishwashing bin. They they just got the washing up bowl. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Good. All right. All right. Now we can go find another one. There weren't any dishes in it. But wait a minute. Look, I thought you might want to tell people about. Look how funny that one is. Look that that was your uh, that your that was your babysitter, and she was called well, Nanny Candy. Well, <laughs> oh my God, where to start? Okay, wait. Pull it back. There you go. That's that's lovely. OK, you could set it down. It's pretty reflective. So we'll have to we'll just show it after. Now, I, she looked she looked after me. She she babysat for you and she was they called her Nanny Candy because she'd give children. She liked sweets. Oh, I thought and, they called her Nanny Candy because it looked like she had cut and candy above her eyes. Well, well she did. She uh, she had blue eyeshadow that was so thick and the hair was always a wig. And it was, and a, it was a wig. It was a wig. Mm, Are you sure? It's hilarious. It's hard to Positive. Tell. Nick said, he had the, did you say? Nick said he had the shock of his life one day when he walked into the the living room and she was sitting there in the rocking chair with you, you know, like rocking backwards and forwards. Oh, I thought you were going to say walked in on her without the wig on. Did you ever find out what was under the wig? Uh, yes. One day, I think I went to the house and she answered the door. She lived with, with her sister and, and her husband and she didn't have any makeup and she didn't have the wig on. What was under the wig? Probably a bit like the wig, but darker. Was it blonde? So she, <laughs> she was like, I love my hair. I'll do another one. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, yeah, oh. yeah. So oh. anyway, uh, um, now wait a minute. I wanted to, oh, I thought you might like to have one of your uncle to show people. Oh, okay. That's a great one. So that is, uh, that's my brother and my uncle. Now that's my uncle who, um, you can put it down, but it's okay. We, we've gone through these pictures a lot lately and we're finding that his style is unrivaled in our family. Like we talk about me dressing weird, but he wasn't trying to dress weird. He just had many different looks over time. He looks like he's lived nine different lives. That's right, that's right, yeah. That's and he loved, he dressed, and like, he loved That's the one where he dressed like a mortician. And he loved Gary Glitter. And he loved- oh, and there's, there's the dogs, look. The two dogs. Okay, so that's Sasha and Sloopy. Yeah. Yeah, no longer with us. No, and then, um, but I wanted to show you one of. Let's do one more. Okay. Okay. Uh, I wanted to show you. Wait a minute. Where is the one? Oh, I can't find it. But anyway, look, that's your gr great grandmother. Wow. <laughs> did, did she eat sand too? <laughs> I think she ate everything. Yeah. Uh, all right, you can set that one down. And who's the little one near her? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. Wait a minute. And can, Sometimes. We, can, we, can we end on one of you? We haven't seen one of you yet. I don't think I put any out of me because I thought it was um, it was more about you. I might I might have one. It's not about Oh, God. You. I would think that's one of your um, my aunts. Um, you don't wait seem, a minute. You don't seem too wait a there is a, there is a There is one of me, I think, with, with you. Um, that's, all, that's all of us with mum. Yeah, we saw one of you. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Well, that that's good. Uh, there's another one. Okay, that's a nice family picture. Oh, you can see Ross no. and I there. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's there's again your your family and our uh, uncle. Uh, yes. All right, pop that one down. Now remember, put them all in a pile so you can send them all over. Yes, I will. And then, so your homework for next time is I think we'd like to see some more of you pictures. Okay. So well, I'll, I'll, great. You should have those two or ones of our family, but let's get some Pam pictures too. Oh, wait a minute though. Quickly. Look, this is the one I was looking for. Grandma. Look, Grandma Davis. And that's, oh, that's yeah. Grandpa. And that's Grandpa. That's Grandma. Ooh. She ate all the food and Dad didn't get anything you can see, can't you? All right. Um, and then, all right, set that down. <laughs> and then what, what did Grandpa do in the war? Um, he was in the, he was in the Royal Air Force. It was rather sad actually, because his, Brother Wilf was a pilot and um, he 
was in, I don't know whether it was the 10,000 bomber or the 100,000 bomber raid, and he um, he perished. He let all his crew bail out, and um, and he died himself. And um, and and just and not so long ago, some letters turned up about. Um, it, uh, do you think it's strange that uh, that he had that gene in him to save others, and that if I were in the situation, I would do the exact opposite? <laughs> Is that where did that happen? I think I think it was wartime, and I think you just I don't really know what 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 you would think, do you? I don't either. No, I would not. Yeah. I would not be good in war. And um, my last question and, is that yeah. Grandpa was in the Royal Air Force. Mm -hmm. did, was there ever a time when he came home excited about the headphones he'd stolen from some uh, army planes or anything like that? I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. No, he and he got sent. I think because Uncle Wilford died, he got sent to safe places. Like he went to Canada and he went to India, and right. he went. To, Isn't that? Do you find it strange that there was ever such attention paid to that sort of uh, leveling? As far as like, if you lost a child, the the army or the air force would be very aware, so that you would not lose multiple children. Like that seems like there was attention paid to that back then. I don't know if we, we do that anymore. I feel like in combat now, we probably don't do that anymore. No, and I, and I mean, I, I'm not sure that that's right, but I, th I think it's right. I mean, Uncle Phil said that it was, that, you well, know, there, dad's brother. I've seen in films, like there was, um, and again, not that everything is true from films, but there's that film, I think mm -hmm. 1914, which is basically mm -hmm. about trying to find a brother so that he doesn't have to, so that he's not uh, hurt. And then I think Saving Private Ryan is maybe something similar like that. I'm mm -hmm. not sure, but mm -hmm. but it does seem like that was a thing where, um, you know, there was just, uh, I guess, a little more empathy towards the loss that people were taking. Um, whereas I feel like now maybe there's no longer that concern. I mean, maybe there is. I, I don't, I'm not too sure really, but I think the world isn't, it's not quite the same, is it, you know, that, do you, um, not, do you worry about the world today? I worry about the world today for the future, you know, for like you and Nick and my grandchildren. You, you know, worry so. about the seeds that have been planted and where that will go in our futures. Yes, a little bit. Yes, yes. I think it's, um, I think it's, uh, um, I don't know. It, it's a hard time, I think. I don't agree. Um, really good. <laughs> All right. Well, this is this is the first one. So, uh, well done, Mum. I thought you did great. How did you feel? Did you? Yes. I did you, you were think? Great. Yes. Great. I, well, I actually completely forgot what I was doing. So, well, that's um, always a good sign. I find that. that's Yes. Um, yes. Anyway, I, next I hope... time maybe some more pictures of you from back in the day. I know we've got a little yeah. pictures of you, so maybe we can see some of those. Yes, I'll um, find some, and and, and maybe, these days, and your and I'll try to find some of the very old photos, the the, the sepia ones. Those are good, but I think let's you know people probably want to see some of you and stuff like that. So let's find some of those. Okay, right? okay. all right then. I'll good I'll job. Do some. thumbs Great up. Great work. Thumbs up. All right, mummy, love you. Okay, darling, love you too. Bye. I'll speak to you. Tales speak from to the pandemic. Yeah. Okay, Bye. number one done. Bye.